Hello people who cannot sit at home, thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to show you 10 of my absolute favorite cafes in the Toronto area. So the reason why I'm saying Toronto area is because not all of them are kind of in the center of Toronto. Some of them are slightly off, such as Markham, North York. But in my opinion, they're all amazing either because of the food or because of the ambience. So let me show you why, let's go. Okay, so for the first place, let's go to Paris Baguette. I know that they have a location in Newmarket. This location is in North York, and I think they're coming to Bloor and Young shortly. So the thing about this place is that lots of different uh, sweets and savory treats, and you take this tray and you put everything on the tray, and then they cash you out. They also have slices of cakes and actual full-on cakes. Definitely very aesthetically beautiful place, but what I'm here for specifically is the what they're called crisp croissants. In the social media, they are called flat croissants. It's basically another one of those viral croissants because at first there was like the circular croissant and then there was the square croissant. So over here we are trying it out. So they have two kinds. This one, by the way, is with Nutella and they have also the raspberry one. I only tried this Nutella one and I gotta say, it tastes exactly how you would think a compressed croissant that has been toasted would taste like. And there's also Nutella in between. Overall, really good. I wouldn't say that this is like an very new taste, but it's definitely very good. For the second place, let's go to Bobette and Belle. This bakery has two locations. One is in Leslieville and this one is kind of midtown. This is roughly Lawrence and Young. What I love about it, well, first of all, it's a great place to work at. It's really beautiful, very like aesthetically pleasing. They have these cute plates on the ceiling and just everything is very French, just beautiful decor. But my favorite thing about them is actually their blueberry scones. You have to try it. It's the most amazing thing. It also comes with this really fluffy whipped cream. It's really good. You have to try it out. And their alpha gores are really great as well. Next place, we're actually heading downtown. We're heading to Cabbage Town, and this is the Bizu Tio. As you walk in, you right away will see the most beautiful baked goods. They also have tons of quiches and croque monsieur sandwiches. They also have like bigger cakes. Uh, again, more baked goods. This cool thing that was out of potatoes and caviar. We got that. That was so good. Yeah, just like when you walk in, it's almost like too much. <laughs> so many yummy things. Inside is very beautiful, very cabbage town, kind of very Victorian, beautiful elements. Uh, definitely you can sit inside. We actually sat outside because it was nice and warm. And over here, I quickly wanted to tell you about my books. So the digital formats are all on Etsy. There are three books. One is Summer, one is Weekends in Summer, and one is Fall Winter. And on Amazon, I actually have four books because there's another art book. So same books as before, but in print format. And of course, I'm going to link everything down below if you would like to check them out. Here's all that we got. All Every single thing in here was so amazing. The quiche with the salad, the pastries, uh, and my matcha. Oh my gosh, so yummy. Over here is the Balzac's Distillery. This is an amazing place, mainly because it's in the distillery district and it's a beautiful area. The Balzac's itself is gorgeous inside of it. I actually don't have footage of me eating in there, but I've done, of course, many, many times. They even have a second floor that you can sit and relax. It does get very busy, especially on the weekends, but it's definitely an amazing cafe. Nord Lyon is a beautiful, fairly new cafe that is on Queen West. And of course, I'm going to link all of the locations down below. So the thing about this place is when you walk in, you will be overwhelmed by the amount of choice. It's so hard to choose. There's so many things. They even have a buffet in the back if you would like to do the buffet. We just did a bunch of sweets and hot chocolate. And oh my gosh, everything in here was amazing. Nadej is another cafe that I have been going to for oh, probably over 10 years. They have two locations. This one is right across from Trinity Bellwoods Park. I love their sweets and their smoked salmon croissants. Now we're heading to Main Street Market in Georgetown, which is roughly Halton Hills. This is about, I would say, 40 minutes from Toronto. And it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I adore this market so much. Also fairly new. I think it's only a couple of years. And of course, there is the market portion, but they also have a cafe portion. What we usually get and what we really like in there is their carrot cake. And I love how they put like a little design on top of the chai that I got. But they also have some savory croissants. The market is so adorable. And outside, if you would like to, you can sit by the fire. This was in the fall, so I'm not sure if they do it all throughout the year. But it was also really nice to relax by the fire station.
Next up, we have an after queen tea shop. This is an afternoon tea place. The thing about this place is just it's, it's just so vintage and out of this you know out of this time. They have this gorgeous mural that was created somewhere in the 70s. If you ask them, they can even turn it on and you know has this beautiful light. The tea and the food they serve were amazing. We had uh, quiche as a starter and then they brought in the tower of different oh. foods. The teas you also get to select, the teas were excellent and the service was really excellent. The lady was very lovely and here's the tower with all of the items. Everything was very fresh, definitely quite the experience. They are sort of in Markham, so uh, not that far from the city and just the ambience of it is really gorgeous. This awesome place is a nursery. This is not a cafe per se. So when you walk in, you will you will see tons of flowers. But there is a cafe in here as well. So this lovely place, it's kind of in the middle of the nursery and I love the whole idea of it. And the name of the place is La Casita del Cafe. And over there you see all of the drinks that they carry. Definitely very adorable. There were lots of people in there kind of relaxing and then you can do some flower shopping. Up next we have for sure one of my favorite donut places. This is called Crave Donuts. There are two locations. This one is in Oshawa but they also have a location in Whitby and their stuff, I don't know what they do but their stuff is so good. Uh, they're for sure my favorite donut place. You have to go. You really have to go. And the thing about them is that they also change up things so often. I don't even remember what I'm eating over here but you will probably get something else because it, it's always so new. Any Anytime I'm there, they have new flavors. Uh, I do have to say all of their crullers are very, very good. So make sure to taste their crullers and their filled donuts with like a lot of filling. They're also really great. This place I love so very much. This is the watering can flower market. They are in the kind of Niagara region. They're kind of close to Lincoln. So when I did this video, this was kind of Christmassy holiday time, but they are beautiful any time of the year. Trust me, this is such a place that you have to go. If you haven't been, you have to go. They're essentially a flower market, but they also have a whole pretty much restaurant over there. So over here we had a salad, and then they also have, of course, their bakery. I'm gonna show you the bakery in a second, but here is just the soup that we got, and then we got a Ferrero Rocher brownie over there, which was really amazing. The drink that I had it was some kind of turmeric mocha. It was also really good. The thing for me about this place is that they are just so very creative. Like over here, these are just the walls. Uh, <laughs> and here's the bakery that I was talking to you about. By the way, when you're sitting at the restaurant, you can order anything from the bakery. They will bring it over. Or you don't have to sit at the restaurant. You can just come up over here at the bakery and take it to go. I love how they had a dinner table over there on the on the ceiling and a canoe with succulents. Like how how insane is this? Over there is a piano, also all over with like different flowers. Anyway, just a really beautiful, creative place. That is also a restaurant. That is also a bakery. That if you're ever in the Niagara region area, you have to check them out. They are closed, however, on Sunday. They work, I think, six days a week. So make sure to check out their open hours. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite cafes in the GTA area. Write them down below. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I will see you next time. Bye.